Meet some of the wild horses of the Calico Mountain Complex in northern Nevada. Now that you have met them, say goodbye, because what you are seeing are the last days of freedom for these horses. When my partner and I heard that the Bureau of Land Management, commonly referred to as the BLM, was planning to gather 2,500 wild horses in the Calico Mountain Complex, we wanted to meet some of these horses and to allow other people to meet them as well. Unlike domesticated horses, these horses live their lives by their own design. Mares and their babies live under the leadership of a single stallion in what is called a band of horses. Young stallions live in bachelor bands until they can form a band of their own. These horses move miles every day over the desert lands grazing with their families and caring for each other. Family along with freedom is everything to these horses. The term gathering wild horses is a BLM euphemism for destroying the lives of wild horses by taking away the freedom and separating them from their families. Although the Calico Complex consists of approximately 550,000 acres of public and private lands, and the entire area is approximately 50 miles long and 35 miles wide, under President Obama's administration, the BLM has determined that a half a million acres of land can only accommodate 572 to 952 wild horses. The BLM claims that currently there are 3,000 wild horses in Calico and that they are overgrazing the range. Yet, the BLM recently increased cattle grazing allotments on these same lands, allowing cattle to graze where they are capturing wild horses. Unfortunately, the cattle industry has for decades dictated the BLM's policies. They are so intertwined that environmentalists refer to the BLM as the Bureau of Livestock Management because they manage our public lands for cattle at the expense of every other flora and fauna that exist on the lands. In fact, President Obama appointed Ken Salazar to head the Department of the Interior, which oversees the BLM. Salazar is a cattle rancher. Under Obama, the BLM is the same as it ever was, still capturing horses and killing bison, prairie dogs, coyotes, wolves, and other animals for cattle interest. The BLM is planning to capture approximately 80 to 90 percent of the calico horses and put them up for adoption. Sadly, as you view this video, the horses you see may already have had their lives destroyed as the BLM will start capturing these horses on December 28, 2009. To capture these horses, the BLM will fly low in helicopters over the horses including the pregnant mares and the young foals, to frighten and stampede the horses into makeshift holding pens. Some horses will be injured and some will likely die due to the stampede and stressful conditions and treatment. Horse families will be shattered as family members will be separated for life. Once they are captured, the horses will be taken either to the Palomino holding facility or one very similar. At these facilities, the horses are forced to live in their own waste and the only place for them to lie is on the urine-soaked, feces-covered ground. Where freedom once provided every horse with the opportunity to graze and eat, the feeding stations at the holding facility subject smaller and weaker horses to having to wait to eat.
At the Palomino holding facility, no shelter is provided for these horses, and they have no means of escaping or minimizing the effect of the elements. Captivity deadens the spirit of these horses. They become mere shells of their former selves. There is an emptiness that doesn't exist when they are free. The horses are warehoused as if their life has no meaning. At these holding facilities, the BLM shows total disregard for the social structure of the wild horse and destroys it by separating the males from the females and the young horses when they are approximately 9 to 12 months old from the adults. Currently, the BLM is stockpiling 34,000 wild horses in burrows. Wild horse roundups are nothing more than a multi-million dollar giveaway to ranchers and private contractors. First, the BLM spends millions of dollars annually to remove wild horses from tens of millions of acres of public lands. Then the BLM takes the wild horses who were removed and pays private ranchers in the Midwest to stockpile the horses indefinitely. Then the BLM leases at rock bottom prices public lands to private ranchers for cattle grazing. This is a scam in which ranchers and private contractors are the beneficiaries and wild horses and the American taxpayers are the losers. Business as usual at the BLM must stop. Wild horses such as this stallion who charged towards us to let us know he did not like our proximity to his band are as much a part of the land as the wind that was blowing across the microphone on my camera. These wild horses are part of our American heritage and should be left alone as Congress intended when they unanimously passed the Wild Free Roaming Horses and Burrows Act in 1971. The Obama administration must be held accountable for failing to stop the travesty of the BLM roundups. Call the White House and tell Obama that wild horse roundups must be stopped.